Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming, and we are here with City Skylines. We're going to be starting a new game. Uh, I haven't really played this game too much. Uh, yeah, really not too much. I don't even... I'm still learning. Oh uh, yeah, I like cliffs. We're going to do that. So, with that being said, forgive my ignorance of the game. I'm still learning. A lot still figuring out what to do but we're gonna have some fun we're gonna build a city waiting on raven to send me a name for the city or if y'all have any ideas for names for the cities let me know down in the comments below but there we go we are in our first map uh so we're gonna start over here i definitely want this to be downtown down on the coast then it can sprawl up here along the... Oh, yeah, that's going to be nice and pretty. But first things first, we need an arterial road. So let's... Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's see. How do we want to... All right, now that it's... given me what I actually wanted, which was this... Exit that. Thank you. We're gonna... Thank you. And now I can just go to my normal roads here and just connect them like so. And now I have my main artery feeding my city. And now I'm just gonna scroll down to about right. Here. Scroll over to about right here. And that's going to be my main feeder road right now. I have to be cognizant. We only start out with like 60 something thousand dollars. So with that being said, as I build these feeder roads that come down for my uh, initial grid here. We're actually going to do something else right here. Well, not necessarily do something like strange, but... So we need to demolish some of these guys. I actually kind of like that. It's going to curve out a little bit and give us a little bit of room to play with. And then we can come right here and just kind of work on that grid. Um... Super big on grids, if you can't tell. Like, I love the way grids look. Just, they're very nice. They're very clean looking. Don't really like how this is, but uh, not too much I can do about that right now, I guess. Curious why this won't let it come off of, like, right here. That's bizarre, because it'll let it go right there, but it won't let it connect to that main offshoot. But that's going to be the main downtown area, and before I get too far into that, I want to put down some infrastructural things so I don't end up losing my city. So we've got that, now we're going to need some water. We'll throw down our input for our water right here output for the water over here uh, we are gonna have to connect them and we're gonna do this as much like a city as possible so none of these water mains are gonna actually travel under anyone's houses or anything like that they're all gonna be pretty much centered on these roads that we have like that and then from there, it's going to be the same with the electricity. So it's never really just going to like... I've still got $32,000. So with the electricity, I'm just going to kind of run it up here. And then across the way. As best as I can, at least. 
and then to right here. Just because that's until we get some uh, construction going, that's pretty much what's going to happen there. All right, so we should have electricity for that, that, and our city once we start zoning it. So that'll be really good. Okay, so now we can start with our actual like roads and grids and pathways. So this guy wants us to start right here. I do not like that it made me do a one block space. I also don't like that it's not wanting to snap at an angle. So what we are going to do here is instead of like building off of actually we might just now that we have this kind of done we can kind of probably bring it in a little bit. Let's do a curve, actually. Because we can take a curved road that lines up perfectly with like this grid and then just take it in like that. If we take it out to like no further than right here, then it might just do something that's more manageable, kind of like that. And I like that, I like more manageable. Okay, okay. So we got that, now we can go back to our, that's the gradient, I don't care about that too much. I mean I do, but at the same time I don't. So, here we go again with that weird like snappy that it gives us, but there we go. Now we're starting to get a grid down. Now we have some issue trying to maybe connect to right here. Because uh, it says that, so. We'll just throw the road right here. As close as it'll go. And it'll just be one of those roads that we all saw growing up that really didn't have a offshoot us. But that one will connect. Okay, thank you, game. Thank you for making so much sense. So what happens if I just bring him, like doesn't so I get more zoning if I can just do it that way and I think I prefer the more zoning option honestly okay so we get that and then starting the sideways paths is kind of the rough one um yeah, it's this is gonna be a little bit rough to do this sideways grid. It's but but uh pretty much just gonna connect these like that, and then from there just gonna keep connecting it, and that's less of a that's more of a block than what I actually would have liked to have done. But now I've got that. And I think that one will connect to that one. That kind of works to the point where I could almost get rid of this outer road here and just leave some land. I think we are going to do that because... Yeah, we're going to do that. Leaves a little bit of land, but it's also... Now we can kind of evenly divide it up, if that makes sense. It's kind of wonky looking, but uh, it is what it is. Now we can just do this. And then just come down here again to this. Hmm... See, that's where we fell victim last time was that. So what we got, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, three, four, five, six, seven. So we want this out right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, about right here.
about right there. And that does leave a bigger gap up here, but we have power lines running through that. So now we're going to start zoning. So for zoning, if you've ever lived in like a historic town or anything, anything by the water is typically just businesses, you know, small businesses, large businesses. It's all just businesses down here. And then as you move inland, you get some houses. We're going to put some houses down and we're actually going to unpause the game now. So our people are going to be able to move in. Yay. Um... With that being said, while people start moving in, I'm going to continue building grids. And with a grid continuing to be built, I mean, I'm coming all the way up here, and then all the way over here. And then down here. There we go. So now I have that. So that means that now I can really just take my brush here. And just kind of... Do that, and then do it again, then really all you do from there to keep your grid, see I, I ran out of money, but that's whatever. Water should be relatively good, but I would like to, you know, we are losing money currently. Uh, I didn't really think about that too much not it right here at least this is the part that I didn't think about too much because now I'm gonna have to run separate piping right here and then some down that road but that'll come in a little bit actually I could just dezone those areas really quick and that'll save me from having any water issues mostly yeah that should save me from pretty much every water issue that i have just d zone up here really quick too because we are out of money out of money out of money uh also what's a good name for my city i don't know knights templar came out of hiding oh no why why, why are the knights templar out of hiding this game is pretty. I like this game. We're going to speed up some time, though. That's... What is that? April 8th? June? July? We're losing a lot of money right now. We, we could use some more export. Or at least some more influx of these small businesses that we have along the waterfront. So we're just going to speed it up again. Let's see how this goes. We're... Our negatives are slowly dropping. Eventually, we'll be making more money than we're spending. Ideally. Now, we're not really attracting too many people. 65, is that my global happiness? I don't know what that is. But our money is also steadily dropping. Well, the negative is steadily dropping, so... Uh, we are... 142 so we're starting to get some people 141 oh no why is my happiness going down hmm I don't like that I don't like that at all why is my happiness going down I should be attracting more people how's my electricity looking so my electricity realistically now I could demolish that line, that line, that line. Yeah, because now all of this one grid is connected, so I could get rid of a lot of that. I was wondering if the, it's the electricity that's causing them to be unhappy, because they have power lines literally running right in front of their house. And then they probably, yeah, they do want some like heavy industry, which I'm going to put up here. Like This is going to be my industry area. So, if my city could actually produce some money, we would build that industry for them. But my city continues to vary me. Oh, these are days. 9.23, 9.24. Oh, it doesn't go any faster than that? Okay. 
Okay. So, uh, the problem is... Even if I did an industrial zone, there's no water up here right now. So they'd be really unhappy, so I have to run a water pipe all the way up and over. And I can't take out a loan, I don't think. I know later on I can, but currently I cannot. Um, let's... Reduce this, because we don't really need... so much of these currently. Yeah, we don't really need so much of that currently. And that's going to start our deficit. Yay, we finally have a positive. Okay. That's cute. Who needs a to-do list when you have a spouse? Somebody tell Raven that. She's going to be doing a lot of dishes. You can see information about buildings. The Crest Residence, low density, density housing. Two adults, one senior, one child. Four uneducated. Oh, those heathens. Oh, we're finally starting to make some money now. It's not much, but... It ain't much, but it's honest work. What's going on with the selected window? Okay. That's cool. So they're not building a whole lot over here just yet. But we are making money off of it, so... That's a positive, at least. Maybe I should have watched some more... Can change a road's name? Okay. Maybe I should have watched some more how-to videos before I played this game, just because of the general nature of it, but, you know. It is what it is. I can start... Demolishing some... No, I want to demolish. There we go, because they still have electricity now, and soon this entire area will be built up and they'll have electricity everywhere. I have noticed that industrial zone, but I can't build there yet. But I would love to unlock this hamlet because I get taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, education, recycling center, landfill, elementary, and a community school. So I could take out a little bit of a loan and be good. Yeah, I have played a little bit, but again, clearly, is it raining? Is that a natural disaster? Does it flood? Oh, that's really peaceful, actually. Just... Can I just click off of the zoning? There we go. There we go. Let's get some nice ASMR. Oh, you ruined the ASMR. How dare you. Oh, that's pretty, too. That's really pretty. But I do need a new city name, so please let me know a city name down in the comments. While we... Oh, we're negative monies again. Why are we negative monies? We were positive. How are we negatives now? I haven't built anything extra. I don't get it. God, this is a really slow city. Our population is not growing. But I have to get, what, 400 people? Milestone, 400 people. So we're halfway, give or take. Oh, I hit the wrong button there. It, we're officially halfway to our freaking thing. Uh, I'm not sure why the money problem spiked up again, but that's not good. Definitely losing a lot more than we're getting, which is an issue. We're just going to adjust that again. I'm not seeing any issues with the electric. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, maybe let's not leave it at, like, 65. 66. Sure. 
65. Whatever. That works. We really just need more people now. But I can't do that without money. I mean, I guess I could rezone some of this for industrial and then dezone it. But then it becomes polluted. I really don't want that. Hmm. What if we just rezoned like a small area right here? See what happens now. We're just gonna put a small into. Oh, okay. Well, that was immediate. That uh, they started packing and putting in these new factories. Well, that's good at least. I guess more people would rather work in heavy industry than this, whatever this is. Now, is this per day? That's weekly. So it would take me... Oh, God. I don't even... That's a lot of... Oof. I don't want to think about that. Okay. But we are getting some more people moving in. We can see some more houses popping up. It's raining again. So yeah, maybe this industrial is a good idea. Should have thought about that when I came up here. Didn't even think about that. Oop, was that a water symbol or is that just because you built a new house? Yeah, that's a big house. I thought we said low residential. Interesting. Low density. Our happiness is shooting back up, though, which means a bunch of people are moving in, which is really good. And then again, when I can afford it, we're just going to knock this down anyway. And... Hey, 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 hey. Knock that back up to 70, I guess. We are going to start experiencing power drains a little bit, but that's that's a later on issue. Now it's just a waiting game, really. 252! Oh, I hate that number with a passion, and if you live in North Carolina, you understand. Hey, 250, 258. Can we get higher, please? Get back up to 260. Would like some more population. Oh no, our money. We're negative again. Why are we negative? Does it just go down at night? Is that what it is? Because nobody's working at night? That's kind of like the idea, I guess. Also, population. Come on. Alright, well, if nobody wants to, like, build here except industrial, then screw them. We'll just do some light industrial zoning right here. That's what that is, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's going to help with a lot of money, at least, because they're throwing those buildings up really fast. And those buildings are immediately adding to our input for our money. So, I'll take that. Uh, these buildings are going to end up funding the new industrial park over here. See, now we're getting a little bit of money flow. Now we're getting some people moving in because we got all these jobs from these factories that just popped up. We're getting some money flowing in. Now we're talking, now we're talking, now we're talking. Who doesn't have electricity? And why? What's my... Ooh, that's rough. Uh, let's go to this and see if we can't... 70... Anytime I up anything, I up the other half too, so... See if that helps a little bit. It doesn't make it great, but it doesn't make it bad. 
Uh, electric. Oh, because its production is low. I thought it was supposed to produce eight. I guess that's only at a hundred. Produces eight. Let me see if that fixes it. Nope. Electricity produced is four. How's it only four if we have this guy right here? They lied. When I put it down, it said it produced eight. Okay, well, we might have some rolling power outages for a little bit. High demand for residential, low demand for industry or offices. You know, if I could afford another one of these, I would gladly put one down, but, you know. Y'all are a bunch of dicks. And it's clean. But I really, really want a coal plant, too, just because it's... it's oh, and now we're running into water issues. That's what we want. Okay, okay. Can I just please get some money for this frickin' wind turbine? See, eight. It produces six... Eight. Okay, so I guess that one's like right on the edge of producing the eight. Okay. Well. Our happiness is definitely going down. That's not what we want. Let's bump everything back up to a hundred now, I guess. Not enough electricity, which means not enough water. Well, I would love to, but you won't even let me take out a loan, game. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure out what to do here, or if there is a fix, even. I really don't know. I think I just have to wait it out, and ideally, the conditions get better. Because, you know, people are leaving, which is unfortunate, but... We are creating a gross domestic product. Which means that eventually, we're just going to make enough money to actually build another wind turbine and another water. Because the wind turbines, I think, are 6,000. Yep. They made making money in this game really hard, not going to lie. Production 8. Oh, so this is a heavy production, so if I put one, like, right here... I should have put one right here just to start with, honestly. But what I can do now is start erasing all these. Because the grids are now all connected. Oh, we're also almost to 400 people, so... Not so bad now, not so bad. Uh, our... Production is 8 megawatts now, and our consumption is down, which means we're actually on the upper end of what we need to be doing. So now we're not doing so bad. Our happiness still fluctuating uh, because of rolling power outages. But this is our weekly domestic product is now almost... That's, that's a good amount, actually. So we're about to be able to afford another wind turbine, if you know what I mean. Well, I hope you know what I mean, because I just told you what I mean. We're going to have another wind turbine. And then after we have a wind turbine, we're going to run some water up here and build a lot more industrial. Actually, we have a very high demand for residential, so we'll start working on this grid again and then move this industrial over here if we can afford it. If I were to start doing something like that. Because now I can start dezoning. 
this area and rezone it. So does D zoning? So D zoning does get rid of buildings like that. Okay, cool. So as I move one block at a time, we'll just do the same over there. No big deal. And with that being said, they've already expanded the electricity. So now we can expand our industrial complex area over here. Because now that's going to be in high demand as we demolish these guys and rezone them for light industry again. Yep, there they go, but here they go again. So they never really left, they just moved locations. And that's perfectly fine. Now we need water. Uh, we got this water pipe here. Need one water pipe there, and then one water pipe there. Not a big deal. Then we can put a trash dump down. How much is a trash dump? 4,000? That's not so bad. All of these houses do need it. We could take a loan out. I guess. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I don't like loans. But I guess it would probably be helpful if we did a loan. Amount, 5%, weekly cost, $400. Uh, ooh. Yeah, sure, we'll take it. That gives us enough money to finish this area. So what we're going to do here now is water where it's needed. Connect everything, then we're going to throw in a... We're going to throw our roads in really quick. Finish that up, and now we're going to go do trash. Oh, so trash is going to... Interesting. Is that... Yep, that is going to take care of most of that area. So we're going to put the trash actually on this side, though. So now that we've got the trash going out... Oop. So I need to get rid of these roads because I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that kind of sucks that people are losing their houses when I do this, but it is what it is. Hmm. I really don't know how big these blocks are, honestly. I'm just trying to get them kind of right. Oh, they need health care. So we're going to take a... Oh, we can't afford a hospital, can we? Medical clinic is ten thousand dollars, and we're only making eighty-two. It's not good. I think a lot of that is coming from our uh, payment plan on our loan. But what we can do is finish our water lines, I guess. There we go. And now I can finish districting all of this to blue. Uh, so we do have some sick people. 
This medical clinic's probably going to be our next big priority. That's roughly the same size grid. Uh, that's... That's roughly the same size. Yeah, it'll buff. We got plenty of industry over here now. Actually, to the point where we can put more industry down, I believe. So let's just go ahead and throw down some more. Is this my landfill? Yeah, it is. Okay. And see what happens when we throw down some more industry. There we go. We're starting to get some more stuff popping off over here to the point where we're just going to expand the entire area and hopefully that'll give us some good decent feedback on the money issue now that we're going to have a lot more industry area and what else what else what else water should be good electricity is relatively good yeah, we're, we got more than enough electricity right now. Water's okay. Garbage isn't super happy, but not super bad either. Uh, we do need healthcare. We could go for some healthcare and probably some education. For healthcare, I'd put the clinic maybe once I can afford it, because it's only 10000 Yeah. So we should be able to afford it relatively quickly with the amount of money we're making now. We'll throw this somewhere over here. How close are we to the next 800? Oh, we were up to like 600 people at one point, but we lost some people due to some other issues. So it's whatever. We'll throw the clinic in right there once we get 10 grand and it'll help everyone out people start feeling happy healthy actually we might throw the clinic in like on this watery area you know maybe right here who knows we'll see we still got a little bit oh we're we're going real slow right now there we go wondering why our money was taking forever to build up but there's our population shooting back up again so we can take that our money's shooting back up population's going up it's a real good time real good time this is how you want to see it. Um, I know my people are a little sick right now. Uh, they want a school and they want health care. I can respect that. You want to be healthy, you want to be smart. So we're going to give them a school and we're going to give them health care. We're going to put the health care... Ooh, right there. That's pretty. Right on the edge of the uh, space already occupied. Cannot build on the water. I can't edit it yet, can I? Or I can, like, raise this up to be usable terrain still. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Also, we're at 600 people already. Um, uh, let's put the... Right there. That makes everyone happy. And now for education... Uh, these both cost 12000 and 10000 So it's going to take us a little bit to get to that input of a... Uh... Sorry, did you just say you need water, sir? What is our water? Operating normally, upkeep. Yeah, but what's our, like, water usage? Is it not going to tell me? It's like rolling water outages now. How much for a water pump? Oh, hush. These people complain about anything. Uh, can I get some water lines, please? There we go. Alright, now we should have plenty of water flowing again. As long as we don't ever have any back... Oh, we're... 
We're plenty good. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we're plenty good. I ain't even worried about it. Plenty good, plenty good, plenty good. Point where I probably didn't even need that guy, but it's kind of nice to have. So let's see. Once our loan is paid off, we'll probably be making a lot more money. Total paid off to what? Uh, payment left 14,000. It's going by really quick though, see? But once that's gone, uh, that $403 is going to be in our pocket every month. And it's going to be real, real pretty. So what do we need? We need more residential. So let's see, do we have the water grid set up for more residential? We don't. So what can we do? We're going to come right here and paint another water grid. And we're going to come zone the shit out of this area for some residential. And then we're going to throw some roads in because... I don't want to upset a bunch of people after the fact, so not enough money. Oh, some sucks for them. That grid's going to get it. Oh, there we go. Population, districts, policies, another loan, service, unique buildings, police department, fire department. Okay. So let's give the people what they want. They wanted a school. Newly unlocked buildings, elementary schools. Uh, where do I want an elementary school? See, it doesn't look like it's going to impact a whole lot of the city, though. But we do want it centered in an agriculture, or not an agriculture, but a residential area. So I say we take this block. We're just going to take the city block for the school. Sorry, guys. And that still leaves us with 10,000. Electricity could be a little bit better, but not so bad. Not enough to get that coal power plant. Water, no issues. Garbage. Not really an issue. Why do y'all have electricity issues up here? Why are y'all having electricity issues? But why are y'all having electricity issues? I don't, I don't understand it. Uh, I'm not understanding the electricity issues here. You have a power grid connected. Is that going to solve it? I guess that solved their electricity issues. Okay. Uh, just shit on me while you're at it. Um, well, until then, we'll do that then. And once this gets built up... Dude, why are y'all having electricity issues? Y'all should have plenty of electricity. I don't get it. Active connected. See, they're active. See, now they're active. But now they're not. But now they are, but now they're not. That's very confusing, and I don't like it. Why? Why does this area keep shutting down? I'm very confused. Hmm. Well, if they're complaining about electricity so much, just take this guy, and we're going to throw him um, about right there. Right now, they literally can't complain about power. They have their own wind turbine dedicated for them. 
should fix all those issues and that money should come shooting straight back up. Look at that. Now that's an income. That's what you want to see. Oh, I don't like that at all. That's not pretty. Do we have a... Uh... This the eco one? Yep, there we go. Okay. I don't like the smog. Because that water is eventually going to make its way into... Okay, you stop it. You have electricity. You have plenty of electricity. What is your problem? I mean, maybe not plenty. Like You're kind of sitting on the yellow, but you're just being dickheads. That's all you're doing. They're just complaining to complain. Oh, wait. Why aren't you connected anymore? That might be useful. There we go. Now our electricity should be even higher. Because now you're actually connected. Uh, I didn't realize that got disconnected when I did all that stuff. There'd be crime. But I can't afford a police station right now. Okay. Well. Regardless. That is about... All we're going to do for today's episode. Look at our little... What are we... What are we at? What are we at? Tiny town. We need another hundred people. We're getting there. We're getting there real slow. Took a long time for this to start kicking off the way it did. Are we still zoned for green up there? Yeah, we are. So they got plenty of room to move in. Uh, plenty of residential. Plenty of industrial. Oh, why in the world did I put green over here? I'm an idiot. Dezone that. No, 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 no. We, ew. There we go. And now I can start getting rid of that. Yo, my guys, you don't... I... I despise this game. There's there's electricity. I promise you there's there's plenty. It's all connected, see? This these blue things connect to you. I don't understand this game's electricity. I don't I just don't get it. Production is 20. Hmm. Next episode, we're probably going to have to build a coal thingy. Yeah, we need a fire department. We need a ca police station. And we need a coal burning power plant, which is like 20,000. It's not cheap. Not cheap at all. So let's get to the population of 1,300 really quick because we're only 30 away. We're going to build a power plant and some other stuff, maybe. Actually, did we already pay off our loan? Oh, we did. Maybe? No, we still got 10,600 left on it. Okay. Yeah, so where is our electricity? How much are you? Yeah, you're 19,000. So I build that. He's going to go, like, right here. Because I'm sick of them bitching about not having electricity in this area. Hmm. I wonder if it's because these guys don't actually... See, it's only producing four. But if I went over here and I went to my taxes... Taxation is theft, but it is a way to make money. Hey, look at that. Ooh, we got canals now. Flood walls. Oh, we got all kinds of shit now. Okay. 
Uh, we're going to tax the shit out of industry, though. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So now that we've done this, we are going to build a... I'm sick of them bitching about electricity, so... Bitch about electricity somewhere else, okay? Now we're producing 59 megawatts. Should be perfectly fine. All that production should send our money straight into the sky. Uh, we have a recycling center now, which I guess... Would be nice to have eventually. Um, it'd be nice to put something here just to, yeah. That's that's another thing for another day. We already have our hospital. We need a fire department, which would be nice. Probably stack him like somewhere in the historic district area, like right here. And then same with the police department. They probably put the police department like right here on the main road. That way they can get anywhere they need. But anyway, thank y'all for joining. Uh, I hope y'all are here for the ride. Uh, it's going to be an interesting time trying to learn how to play this game. How can I? There we go. And yeah, look at our little city. So, thank y'all for joining, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.